Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if it's your first time in my corner of the internet. My name is Timpani. For those of you who don't know me, I upload beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content here on YouTube. And for today's video, I'm sharing with you guys a 10 minute fresh space makeup tutorial. So with this tutorial, I'm using mostly cream products. I am using a no foundation. Um, I'm said I'm going to be using a little bit of concealer and then I won't be using any powders outside of my Derma Blend setting powder. And that's just going to be for setting my under eye um, area. Also minimal tools. I'm going to be using any little eyebrow spoolie, um, a little buffer brush, and then a beauty sponge. So yeah, this is a pretty simple and straightforward makeup tutorial, mostly for, you know, those of us who just kind of feel like bums when we're not wearing any kind of makeup, but we don't necessarily want to, you know, put on full face glam. But yeah, before we jump into the tutorial, I would love it if you guys would click that like button to show your support, as well as the subscription box and the notification bell if you want to be notified for the next time I upload. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. Okay, right, so the first thing I'm going to do is moisturize my lips. I like to moisturize my lips before starting my makeup because that way by the time I get to my lip product, um, my lips are hydrated and they're not super dry. So uh, I'm going to be using the Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm. Um, this stuff has SPS 25 in it um, and I got this recommendation from my cousin actually because she was saying she like, Arizona is the only place she's ever lived where her lips got sunburned and that is a very real thing here so this has a little SPF in it so it helps your lips not get sunburned. The next thing I'm going to do is prime my skin. I already did my skincare for today um, so I'm just going to go in with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I talk about this stuff all the time. It's pretty much the only primer I use. Actually it is the only primer that I use. I don't know why I said pretty much the only. So while I wait for my primer to just kind of sit for a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. For my brows, I'm just going to be taking this little spoolie um, and combing my eyebrows. And guys, I don't know about you, but my eyebrows are getting crazy, but I'm afraid to touch them myself because this eyebrow is still growing in from the last time that I tried to do something with my eyebrows. And guys, that was like like over a year and a half ago, I want to say. Um, so yeah, I just don't want to touch my brows <laughs> and mess them up. I'm just like super nervous about touching my eyebrows, but I might go get one of those little razors from like Walgreens or Walmart or whatever the next time I'm at the store. Um, just to like clean up the under bit a little bit, hopefully. So next I'm just going to go in with a little bit of brow gel. This is the Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. Um, I'm just gonna, you know, I just want to tame the brows, but you know, not necessarily do anything else to them. Boom! Brows done. Alright, next I'm just going to go in with some concealer. This is the Morphe uh, concealer in the shade C3.25. I'm going to apply this to my under eye area, a little bit my forehead, and then my chin area as well. I feel like Rafiki from Lion King. <laughs> or is it, uh, maybe Simba, maybe more so Simba. How does he? No, Rafiki, I, I feel like Rafiki. <laughs> all right, so next I'm just gonna take this beauty sponge and I'm going to blend out all of that concealer. Okay, I'm not going to do that because the sponge, my sponge is a little dry, so I'm actually gonna run back to the sink dampen it up a little bit, and then be right back. All right, and we are back. <laughs> so again, I'm gonna start blending out this concealer with my Damp Beauty Blender. You know, I'm trying to keep this real fresh looking, so that's why I decided to do a beauty blender um, because they're wet and they add moisture and they just kind of, you know, help things blend, but this is taking forever. Forever. This is taking forever. <laughs> All 
All right. That only took seven years. So now my concealer is all blended out. Next, I'm going to go in with the Derma Blend um, Loose Setting Powder. This is in the shade Warm Saffron. I've actually never tried this before, but um, my Morphe Banana Powder was getting too, um, just looked real light in my under eye. So I decided to um, go try this one, but this is looking a little dark. This is looking like, like it'd be a powder for my entire face, but let's see. We're, we're gonna try it, we're gonna try it. Uh, worst comes to worst, my under eye just won't be very highlighted. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to grab my Morphe banana powder and I'm going to mix the two. So I'm just taking some of that Morphe bacon set powder and mixing it with a little bit of the Dermablend Warm Saffron. I'm not even sure if you can do this really. I don't know if maybe mixing powders is a thing, but we're gonna try it. We're going to try it. Cause like I said, my Morphe is just too light, but this Derma Blend is not light enough. So I'm just gonna mix the two. Alright. Not bad, not bad. I think it actually works. And then I'm just gonna dab a little powder on my nose, on the tip of my nose, because I tend to just get, you know, a little bit of shine there. So I'm just going to kind of get rid of a little bit of that shine. I think that looks pretty good. So next I'm going to bronze. I'm gonna be using the Fenty Cheeks Out Cream Bronzer, and then I'm gonna be going in with that Real Techniques brush. Um, so I'm just gonna swirl this in here and just bronze my face a little bit. Oh, and this is in the shade Teddy, That's so you guys know. And this bronzer is like really subtle, guys. It's not anything too crazy, just, you know, a little bit of color and dimension being added to the face. So, you know, perfect for a look like this where you're not trying to create like harsh lines or anything like that. And then next, I'm just gonna add some color to my cheeks. I'm gonna be using the Fenty Cream Blush. This is in the shade Strawberry Drip. And I will be using my fingers for this because I tried applying it with a brush and I just wasn't a fan of like how it came out, but with a little swirl of my finger, it works actually pretty good. So, and I just apply this like to the apples of my cheeks and then kind of like pat up and then take my finger and swirl and kind of work that up mainly concentrating on the apple of my cheek. So lastly, we're just going to pop some product on the eye. I'm going to go in with a MAC paint pot. This is in the shade Indian Wood, and it's just a pretty like gold shade, and it just looks nice. Um, just popped onto the lid. And then lastly, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of mascara. I'm going to be using the Lash Paradise Mascara from L'Oreal. Um, this is my all-time favorite mascara. So good for being a drugstore mascara. And yes, I'm going to apply about 100 coats, so that's all right.
All right, and then last but not least, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of gloss. This is the Tough Cookie Gloss from Dose of Colors. Um, this is a great everyday gloss. It, I feel like it's my lips, but better. And that is it. That is the final look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this, you know, fresh face makeup tutorial. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Also, make sure to click the subscribe button for more future content from me. I hope to see you guys in another video. Bye.